Hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is the wig i wanted you guys to have an idea of how the wig looks without the knots being bleached so the first thing that i like to do is i spray two thick layers of got to be and this is just to keep all the hairs out the way this is going to help you without bleaching any strands random strands or baby hairs or anything like that i like to finally brush the hairs into position this will keep all your hairs out the way and help you bleach your wig so much better so after I do that first round, I go ahead and do a second round just to seal it. And then I'm going to begin to bleach the knots. Also guys, I did have bleach on my hands. So do not think my hands are ashy. It's actually bleach. And the bleach that I'm using is the BW bleach. And I'm using 40 developer as well. I put this in slow motion so you guys can kind of see a gist. Well not slow motion but regular so you guys can see how heavy I'm actually using my hands. I'm not going in too hard. But I am making sure that I am really pressing it in. I'm going to move the wig around so you guys can see. I tried to show you guys just now how thick that it is. It's always best to make your consistency of your bleaching very thick. If you use it watery, it will seep through. It will fall on the hairs. It will go. It will bleach past the knots. And it will actually get on the hair, which will actually make the install look crazy, okay? We got, we don't, we, it's like we're living in 2021. And we're not doing the ombre dots no more. The ombre roots. Okay, y'all? You guys have to get this together. Anyways, this is how it looks now. I'm going to flip it around and show you it's fully spread. There is a little piece in the center part that's missing, but I did end up fixing it. And as you guys can see, this is how your knots should look. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my timer on. And I'm going to be putting my timer on for 15 minutes. And then I'm going to show you how it looks after 15 minutes. So now that it's been 15 minutes, you can see, you can kind of still see the knots. Normally, I would actually wash it off and see what it looks like instead of just leaving it on. It's best, it's always best to be safe than sorry, you guys. Over bleaching your knots is really not, it's hard to fix, but it's not that hard. But it's like, if you do it the first, the first right the first time, you won't have to do it again. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse it off and then show you guys how the knots look right now. Alright guys, so as you can see, the knots barely bleached. It did lift up a little bit, but it didn't bleach as much as I would like it to. But you can see the brownness of the roots. So I'm going to go ahead and do another round of bleaching the knots. And basically, sometimes this happens. So I just wanted to show you guys. Sometimes you don't get it the first round. So this is how it looks after I bleached it the second time. And I let it sit on for 10 minutes this time as well. And... As you can see, it is bleached more. I'm going to go ahead and rinse it out and show you guys how it looks. Look at my ponytail, y'all. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. This is how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and it looks really good, as you guys can see. The knots are definitely bleached more. It's giving more of a scalp look, y'all. So, don't ever be afraid to re-bleach it again. I didn't even dry the lace. I just, like, patted it down with a towel and still re-bleached it while the hair was wet. Now I'm going to be taking my Evie. It's by Eva Nye. I'm going to list it right now. Okay, guys. So I used to be a big fan of the... I can't... Shimmer Lights. But to be honest, you guys. To me, this is way better than Shimmer Lights. I love it. It takes less time. And it smells so good. So I went ahead and I washed it out. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys... Now what I use to condition, I'm just going to be using some silicone mix and I'm brushing through the hair and I do have the silicone mix on it. I'm going to put another round of it right now and I'm basically just spreading that all through the hair. Some, um, oh, summer, I was going to say summer mix. Silicone mix makes your hair so nice and smells so good y'all. Make sure you guys check it out if you haven't already. Now I'm just going to go ahead and begin to apply the wig. I'm going in with my scissors and just cutting around my ears. Once it is fully fit, I'm just going to center out my part because I will be wearing my hair in a middle part. 
It's also great to center your parts just to help you apply your wig on easily. I'm taking my Soul Shard Hair Wax Stick and slicking down that top so I can hot comb it back. Everybody's been asking when I'm going to restock on the hot combs and y'all the restock is on the way. Now I'm taking my Soul Melted Lace Glue. You guys can purchase this lace glue on my website. I am almost fully sold out but I do have another order coming in y'all. So now I'm just going ahead and spreading this all over my hair. I usually use my finger, but I didn't want to get my nails too dirty because like I'm getting ready for a photo shoot. That's why you guys can see I am moving very fast, y'all. I am late to a photo shoot. As I'm filming this video, I literally had to be at a photo shoot, but I was home doing my hair, y'all. I'm behind on everything. I'd be late to everything. I will be late to my own funeral. Like I really, really take my time and I'm always late. So now after I put this second layer, I'm just letting it dry and I'm going to go ahead and begin to apply the wig. Y'all, my makeup was so pretty. I hope you guys like it because I did go ahead and film a makeup tutorial. Everybody's asking me for a makeup tutorial, so I hope that you guys watch it and enjoy it. I'm going to be trying to do more makeup tutorials and drugstore makeup tutorials for you guys so you guys can see. How to whip up your makeup okay y'all because i do get a lot of compliments on my makeup so now i'm going ahead and finishing up and applying the wig i'm going to be pulling the wig back a little bit just to see what parts aren't fully glued down and just reapplying glue to that also in this video i will be showing you guys a different baby hairs method y'all finally i'm going to be trying a popular method that doesn't really involve the front baby hair swoop but they kind of skip out on that part it kind of gives you like a widow's peak vibe so yes y'all stay tuned and keep watching Alright you guys, so now I'm going ahead and beginning my baby hairs. As you guys can see, I always do a front part, but today I'm going to be doing that type of Widow's Peak baby hair style. So I will not be doing a front swoop. I'm actually going to be I'm actually going to be slicking up my front swoop with gel and I'm going to be doing just skipping that part and doing the size. I'm going to make the size come down a little bit more than regular because I'm trying to give it that hairline. I don't know if you guys have seen girls. A lot of girls have that natural hairline where their baby hairs tend to peek out more in the front. I honestly love that hairline. So that's basically what I'm trying to mimic right now with my baby hairs. The gel that I'm using is my baby hair goo. Y'all, this is like one of the best sellers on my website it's always selling out i love my gel so much so make sure you guys check it out because it is some bomb gel okay now i'm just going ahead and slicking down the sides you know i wanted it to match evenly as much as possible i know i couldn't make it perfect but i tried to make the match the best that i can so you are going to see me doing a lot of back and forth brushing and combing and cutting out y'all but I ended up nailing it Alright you guys, so now that the front soups, or well, the, not front soups, but the two front baby hairs are finished, I'm going to go ahead and do my sideburns. And of course, I'm going to be giving myself that cute baby hair swirl. Once I finish that, then I will do the space in the middle. I just wanted to get my baby hairs perfect on the sideburns first before I actually do that middle part.
all right you guys so now i'm finishing out my baby hairs with that little center part y'all my baby hairs look this so cute this install was absolutely beautiful y'all look at my baby hairs i love when the hair just look like this like i plucked it but it's like really pre-plucked and pretty all right guys so now i'm just finishing out the hair i'm just going in with my hot comb and i'm just hot combing certain areas i am in a rush because i'm running late to my photo shoot that was supposed to start at 7 30 but now it's actually Ugh. it's it was supposed to start at 7 then i asked him to move it to 7 30 he agreed and now it's actually it's um i was 15 minutes away but i'm really longer than 15 minutes away all right and then i'm just taking my hot cream and I'm just setting that out I don't plan on um I don't plan on wetting it. I just want to see up so I can show you how long it is. But it comes to like the middle lower past my waist area. So this is how it looks. I am wearing hair from Yolissa hair. I'll have all the details listed down in the description box below on this hair and how you guys can purchase it. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Yeah. Bye.